this is Amy with TPF Trips, Places, and Fun, and we are here in Branson, Missouri. We've had several requests now to kind of go over the status of Branson, what's going on in Branson, what's open, what's closed, and so we thought we would do that for you here today. In the background, I don't know if you can see it, but Sight and Sound is back there, the theater that brings the Bible to life, and you can kind of see some of the city, a very pretty view. Thankfully, we've been able to get outdoors through all of this, and we live in the beautiful Ozark, so that is a blessing. Blessing. So what happened in the state of Missouri is that yesterday our stay-at-home order ended and we were waiting to see what Branson would do because our city is allowed to make more restrictive requirements um, or they could go along just with, with what the state had said. And what the state had said is that um, businesses could reopen um, as long as they continue to enforce social distancing and that retail spaces or retail businesses um, could operate at 25 percent capacity if they were under 10,000 square feet. If they were over 10,000 square feet, they had to operate at 10 percent capacity. And so we were waiting to see if Branson would um, adopt more restrictive uh, measures. And so on March 23rd, um, the mayor of Branson issued an emergency proclamation that essentially shuttered all non-essential businesses, including ours. And so um, now we were waiting to see whether they were gonna keep that enforced, whether they were going to um, you know, end that or what was going to happen. So yesterday we watched the Board of Aldermen meeting and it was like two and a half hours. It was. It was very long and it was very informative. It was Super very good. Yes. And a lot of members of the community got up and talked and said some really neat things. In fact, I was crying at one point because it was. She was in <laughs> tears because of the. It was really touching. The love that people have for this area. Yes. People love Branson and we love Branson too. And so anyway, we watched it for two and a half hours. And what ended up happening is that the city of Branson decided just to stick with the state guidelines and not to be any more restrictive than what the state of Missouri is doing. And so what that means is that non-essential businesses can reopen now. Um, it does mean that retail spaces have to be limited to that 25% occupancy if they're, they are under the 10,000 square feet. Now there was some talk yesterday, like what is a retail space? Does that include a theater? Because here, you know, we have a lot of shows, a lot of big shows over 10,000 square feet, which would put them at that 10% capacity. And the lawyer who advises the Board of Aldermen, um, at first he said that at first they thought it was going to include spaces like theater and, and attractions and things like that. But then the most recent thing that he had heard was that it was not going to, but he had advised, you know, people that are in that kind of grouping to contact the state to really get some clarification on that. So we don't exactly know, um, you know what the theaters are going to be doing because obviously a lot of them wouldn't be able to make a profit operating at 10% capacity. Now they do still have to, you know, operate in such a way that people can maintain social distancing. So if they can seat, um, you know, families six feet away from the next family, you know, they um, should be able to open. Um, so anyway, that's kind of how it all came down. And today we thought we would go out and see what is open now. And so this is only the very first day, even less than 24 hours after this change right. has has come. And so probably not a whole lot obviously open, but who knows? Yeah. Uh, our business is gonna be opening, not quite yet, but soon, right? Well, Escape Code is going to open on May 15th. The Axe Game and Saga's Mysteries is going to remain, or they are going to remain closed until after May 31st, but Escape Code will be opening May 15th. So, um, you know, we are excited about that, um, of course, with some enhanced precautions. And let's see, so we thought we would get out there and see kind of what is open. Now, like John said, this just, it went into effect yesterday right after the meeting ended. So a lot of businesses haven't had time to, you know, open yet, but we would thought, we thought we would see what is out there. As far the big players go uh, we haven't had an announcement from silver dollar city you know when they will be opening we checked on the stampede they're opening in june um let's see we haven't heard any really any of the shows or anything like that yet i think they're probably all trying to figure it out what they're going to do from this point so. oh and also uh speak to the uh, the masks because this is that was a hot topic a lot of people had questions are you gonna have to wear masks right. uh, in branson so there had been stuff going on all over social media saying that branson was going to require anyone who went into a business to wear a mask um 
as I said before, they decided just to go with what the state had adopted. And so the state does not require you to wear masks to go into a place. So that is not a requirement. Now, obviously, if that's something you want to do or, um, you know, you feel like, you know, that's where you what you want to go with, then, of course, you can wear a mask. But it is not a requirement at this time in Branson. So. All right. So how about we hit the road and see what's going on out there? OK, sounds good. Okay, so just um, some things about hotels in Branson. Now, as far as I know, hotels were never told that they had to close. We know that Big Cedar did close temporarily. They are now open again. So, um, but as far as all of that goes, there are hotels available. Let's see, my parents are actually coming into town next week and we'll be staying at Falls Village and so, there was concern for a while that maybe they'd have to operate at minimum capacity or at a, you know a certain capacity and all that but um, as of this point hotels are open and available unless the owners themselves have decided to close or that sort of thing so here we are at uh, the butterfly butterfly palace right and what yeah. does it say there amy it says it's temporarily closed so you know like we said a lot of things probably haven't had time after you know the because originally the mayor's order to shutter the non-essential businesses was not going to end until may 15th and so yesterday they had an emergency meeting on may 4th to determine whether they would end that a little bit early which they did and so you know i think all of the businesses were kind of planning on may 15th as their date to reopen so and, and the sign on the door says please check our facebook and websites for reopening details which of course that is true for every single business out there obviously you're going to jump online and see what the uh what the info is they're going to you would imagine they would be communicating really well yeah and you know a lot of the things that we've heard that are going to be open are the smaller businesses the smaller attractions um the bigger ones i think either they're waiting or they're just taking some time to maybe recall staff a lot of them have furloughed their staff so it's not like they can just if they're not family owned and operated it's not like they can just open the next day they may have to to bring back staff and stuff like that and you know maybe develop some new procedures and policies and who knows so hey and let and and i might suggest that this is a great time to support the smaller businesses because sadly i don't know um of, of course who in branson is struggling i mean everybody's struggling but a lot of businesses nationwide are going to go out of business small businesses mom and pop shops sadly we hope that doesn't happen at all in branson but uh i think we should really support the small the small business businesses don't you think yes of course so if you're able that would be a blessing all right so we're just going to drive up and down and see if there are is anything open that wasn't open you know the past six weeks or whatever it's been so okay so we are headed down shepherd of the, of the hills, hills toward let's see the promised land zoo or here we have imax does not appear to be open no, imax is not open yet again the golden corral still temporarily closed yeah now movie theaters i believe can open as long as they can maintain social distancing so as long as they can see family groups um six feet apart then they should be able to reopen but we don't know when that's going to happen so we're going to cruise on down to promised land zoo and um and see if those guys are open but so far we have not had any evidence again less than 24 hours after things have changed in our city no evidence that things are open everything still seems to be closed right now all right, so we're turning in. It says open daily, 9 to 5, Amy, the zebra. Oh, the Promised Land Zoo is open. And so. their gates are open. I think they're open for drive through today, maybe? Yep, their drive through is open. There's people over there and, about to go in and yep. take a picture with a monkey. This yep. is so exciting, Amy. It looks like Promised Land Zoo is open. So this is probably the largest attraction I've seen so far. That is awesome. Not, so not only the drive through but the whole thing. It looks like the whole thing is yeah, open. The whole, yeah, the whole thing seems to be open. So. Now, of course, that this is an in, an outdoor activity, but it was closed until um, today. So, um, unless they opened yesterday right after the board meeting, I don't know. And over here, the Brookside Mini Golf is open. So, that it's a beautiful day today. It's in the 60s, so that would be something fun to do on a day like today. And as far as outdoor activities go, you know, um, Top of the Rock is open, Dogwood Canyon is open. In fact, those have been open. Um, those are some outdoor activities.
activities that are pretty great for social distancing. You know, some golf. In, in fact, almost this whole time that we've been shut down, the non-essential businesses have been shut down, um, golf, not mini golf, but regular golf was considered essential. And so, um, you know, the golf courses have been staying fairly busy. Yeah, and since everything's been closed down, it has forced us as a family to get a little bit creative. So we have been hiking like every other day and there are some yeah, unbelievable maybe, maybe you places. Put some of the pictures in there of the places that we've seen. Oh, I will. John has taken some amazing photos, and honestly, we didn't know some of the stuff that was out there. We are not. We tend to do indoor attractions more than outdoor stuff, and but it has forced us to get outside, and it's we've seen some really beautiful things. This, and a lot of it, gorgeous. a lot of it is going to be within no more than two hours yeah, of drive from Branson. Drive. Some uh, of Northwest it's closer. Arkansas. You know, um, you know, around Table Rock Lake, we've had, we, but we've been some gorgeous places. What have you guys done? You know, during social distancing and stuff like that, have you been able to get out? Do you live in areas where there is, you know, things to do like that outdoors? Let us know in the comments because we're curious. But we would jump into into water holes and wa there waterfalls and yeah, for, woo, it's so fun. Really in incredible what's out there, and it that's one small blessing. The silver lining, I guess, in all of this, because um, this has been difficult for us, as I'm sure it has been for for all of you too. Um, but you know, shutting our businesses down and that sort of thing. But the silver lining has been we've had some. Goodness, this is going to make me emotional. We've had some precious family time and um, been able to discover new things in new places. So, <laughs> See, she's much more tender than I am. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're just going to kind of give you a play-by-play. Oh, -play. oh, there's a sign. Oh, garden sign said dine in open. Oh, there's a lady it's, there out standing yeah, out on the, the road with a sign. The sign said dine in open. So basically what happens with restaurants is restaurants can be open as long as they maintain social distancing so again they have to if they have enough space in their restaurant to be able to put the table six feet apart um, then they can be open and I believe there's a rule they can't have groups larger than 10 at a table and some things like that what do you think about getting lunch at Olive Garden Wow that would be awesome okay so so far we're going down the strip and other than Olive Garden being open I haven't seen much else yet um, but let's keep going and we'll see all right. All right, CC's Pizza not open. None of these shows appear to be open yet. Looking for some indicators, like signs, marquees that are gonna tell us, like Liverpool Legends, they're opening June 1st is what that says over there. Okay, and then the, this thing from the state, these rules from the state that we've kind of gone over with you, those are set to expire on May 31st. So some businesses are opening June 1st or, you know, early Opening June. Friday at 7.30 a.m., Starvin' and Marvin's. Starvin' and Marvin's, so they will have. Opening Wednesday, Pizza World. Pizza World opening okay. Wednesday. So we've got a lot of di restaurants starting to open for dine-in. Not sure about the track and the Ferris wheel and all that. Ripley's Believe It or Not doesn't have any more information. They're still closed here. Titanic, Amy, what's it say? Nothing, huh? Yeah, no word from Titanic yet. See, I think a lot of the bigger um, attractions and you know the more corporate ones are probably having to review a lot of the info that has come in, you know, 24 hours ago to figure out how they're moving forward. Clay Cooper doesn't say. Paschetti's over here. It says open daily at 11, but they don't look to be open. Beyond the lens, nothing happened in there at all. What do we got over here, Hollywood? Wax Museum. Let's see, people are up there, but it looks like they can't get in. So it looks like they are still closed. Um, Reopening May 15th, Charlie's Steak Ribs and Ale. Yeah. Presley's, don't know. Americana Theater, don't know. It doesn't really say either. So far, it looks like what we mostly have are some restaurants opening up for dine-in. There's uh, Landry's. Looks like there's cars out there. It does. It's hard. Wonderworks. They still have a sign on the... Wonderworks oh, has yeah. not Wonderworks opened is yet. Done. We showed you all that since it's been finished. Look how cool this building is. Now, we don't know when the grand opening is going to be. Clarion Hotel opening May 20th. Okay, so they must have closed. Again, I don't know of anything that actually demanded that hotels close. There's the aquarium, it's coming along. Let's see, anything else that I can see? Still a 
lot of things closed. But I think we'll start to see a lot more openings within the next week or two. Like I, like I said, a lot of the businesses were already thinking May 15th, um, you know, which is about a week and a half from now. So I think we'll start to see more after that. But it was so exciting to see Olive Garden open. She was standing out there with a big sign. <laughs> yeah, big sign. Now, Tanger Outlets doesn't yeah, seem like, it, I don't it know. It'll be interesting to see what happens with Tanger because retail stores are allowed to open if they maintain 25% occupancy or less. So we'll see. Uh, the uh, Mountain Coaster, Branson Coaster, not open. I would imagine they would open pretty quick. They seem to like to be open. <laughs> There's people there working. Yeah, they're probably getting it ready. Hey, look at that, Amy. Walmart's open. Walmart has always been open and always crowded. I mean, even in the mornings, if I go, try to go early in the mornings to avoid the crowds, it's still be pretty crowded. Um, I did go one time because they close at 8.30 now, and I went one time at like 8.15. wonder if that's going to change. <laughs> I think they'll start staying, staying open longer, but I went one time at 8.15, and, and that was like the fewest people I'd see. So here's Grand Country. They got restaurant, buffet, music show. I wonder what the buffets are gonna do, Amy. I don't know. Fun I, spot. Yeah, I don't know what the buffets will do to maybe make people feel comfortable because that is one that would, you know, people might struggle with that. Um, let's see. Still not a whole lot. I mean, the Promised Land Zoo was a surprise. I did not expect them to be open today. Apple Tree Mall over there on the right. Let's see. Nope. nope. Not yet. Not yet. Let's see here. And then a lot of these restaurants, as has been the case throughout this whole shutdown. Um, Fuddruckers open for to-go. So they haven't been open at all, but now they are. Open for to-go. But a lot of the restaurants have been open to-go through the whole thing. Dolly Parton Stampede, I think June June, June, I think June saw, something. Yeah, look, 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 look that up, but it's in June sometime. They're planning to open. Hertz Donut. I think they're they're open for carryout. Fritz's Adventure, Amy. What do we got? Anything over there? Uh, Looks closed. I don't see anything. So. All right, so now we are cruising uh, down into downtown Branson. Yep, and so we just finished going through Restaurant Row is what we call it, where all the fast food chains are. Of course those have been open for drive through the whole time but now we'll see what's open downtown and we are headed towards the landing and i saw chick-fil-a is still only doing drive through so they're not open for uh dine-in yet okay so here we are cruising into downtown branson cafe is open oh they are dine-in okay. and carry out it says okay so in fact the owners of branson cafe spoke yesterday at the board of aldermen meeting and it was interesting to see, to hear what they had to say as small business owners, and so I'm happy to see. Why are, are you gonna cry? Why are you crying? Um, anyway, I'm happy to see that. Sorry, <laughs> just okay. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I've always been like the type that is nervous or feels stupid when I cry and so I'll laugh because I feel dumb and then so I end up laughing and crying at the same time and then people think I'm crazy. <laughs> so. <Whoa. laughs> All right, Amy, we're here at the most important place. At Starbucks, huh? You're curious to see if they are open. They do not look. Oh, they do. Oh, they're they're seating inside. inside. <laughs> oh my gosh. 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 John loves Starbucks. So he's been waiting Look. for them to have indoor seats Look. again, and they finally do. They're, they're open! I wonder how they're doing the six feet apart there. That's a pretty small store. Wow, this is a happy day. This is unbelievable. It says our store is temporarily closed. Oh, well, there's people in there. Well, it says it over the intercom. Maybe it's just employees. <laughs> it says reopens May 6th. That's tomorrow. <laughs> I guess it was just employees in there, maybe. <laughs> I bet that's funny to you, isn't it? Well, and I also bet they're not going to have inside seating. I bet you they are um, only going to do drive through. 
but the employees are probably getting ready for something. All right, so over, we kind of didn't go there. Maybe we should, Branson Landing, maybe we can drive into the parking lot and see if there's any activity over there. Okay, we can try. Man, I was saw. Do you know how you get when you're all excited and ready to drink a nice coffee? John is a coffee? little bit too crazy with his Starbucks. What about Dick's Five and Ten? Were they open? I want to go. They had a cool thing in their window. In their win, uh, in their window, and welcoming everybody back. But I don't know. I didn't notice if they were open or not. And then we'll go down to the landing and just take a peek. What's it say? We will be opening in, in a, a couple, couple days. of days. We'll be opening in a couple days. Okay. And there's sign. Look at their there window. Look at their window art. It says glad, glad to have, to have, you, have back. you all back. We missed you. Thank you, nurses and doctors and your team. Do not. You gotta edit all this crying. <laughs> People are gonna think I'm nuts. You just gotta edit all the crying. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you, nurses, doctors, and frontline staff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> you gotta hold it together, people. <laughs> oh, don't crash. I'm gonna crash. Am I gonna crash? No. Yes. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't crash. I hope a train doesn't come. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to park right on the tracks, man. All right, so we've got Paula Dean's restaurant in here, and we're not going to get out of the car and walk walk the landing, but we but will there, just... I'm surprised to see so many cars in the parking lot, so it makes me think there must be something open down there. Maybe people are just walking. A lot of people, even during lockdown, would get out here and walk. Doesn't look like a lot's walk, open. But it doesn't look like things are open, so people may just be going down here to walk. It does make a nice walking area here down along the lake and stuff so so Branson Landing sits right on Lake Tanicomo yep and there it is and it is like again like I said a beautiful day so some people come down here just to walk next to the lake so that might be what we're seeing all these cars here for all right Amy so I think that about covers it doesn't it yeah, I think that does about cover it. So again, now this is May 5th, and the day after um, the non-essential businesses were allowed to start opening with some restrictions. Um, and so far, we haven't seen a lot. We've seen some dine-in restaurants open. We've seen the Promised Land Zoo open. And then we know of a couple of smaller attractions that are going to be open over the next week or two, opening over the next week or two. But other than that, that's about all we know. So we'll have to do another update maybe in a week or two and see how things have changed. So Again, we've said this before, there's always lots of outdoor things to do. So um, like we said, Dogwood Canyon's open, Top of the Rock and Table Rock Lake. And, you know, some people have been renting boats and stuff like that. So there's lots of outdoor stuff to do and we're starting to see um, some things start to open up, so. All right, and so as things get going, we're gonna have more of these TPFs coming out. We've been in a crazy season. We moved in the middle of this crisis from one house to another, so we haven't been pumping out the videos like we had been, but uh, we're gonna work, we're working on it. We're working on it, and so if you would subscribe, uh, that would be amazing. Give us a thumbs up and uh, turn on the no notifications so every time we upload a video, you will be notified. Right, Amy? That's right. Safe travels, everyone.